I want to touch on the fact that being fat here in most of, most of the Western world, most of it of fat people are considered a taboo thing, or being fat is considered taboo. It's a negative association, and I have actually been curious about cer there's certain news articles I've come across, is mostly about Japan, which is a very very slim healthy country in from the world standpoint. And they have some of the most thinnest people on the world in the world, in my opinion, because I've seen some YouTubers just going through malls and stores, and some of the Japanese women are just so tall and, and lengthy. It's just they're like little toothpicks. But what I want to get to is that there have been news pieces and articles talking about people that are, I get I guess would be considered fat admirers. Which I feel bad for these people, not because they like fat people, but because they are so ridiculed for something that they appreciate so much. Because a lot of fat admirers are just assumed to be kind of fetishes or something, but in reality they're just people that like people that have more meat on their bones for some reason or other. It's like that's what they consider beautiful and it's against the, meat, the status quo culture of here in the States, so people just automatically just plaque all this negative stuff on them like feeders and all this weird stuff and I kind of wish there was a little bit more just information or just people uh, or just fat admirers and just share more of their viewpoint in the media or just in a public setting so that way they can kind of break the stigma of being a fat admirer because there are there have been fat admirers that have flat out said that they felt uncomfortable sharing their their preference with their friends because they were afraid of being ridiculed and that that is just really sad because it's like you should not be afraid to be yourself and admit to what you're like and I've watched some fat admirers on YouTube and the thing is is that some of these guys the male fat admirers I've looked at they're very attractive and if I saw them in a bar or whatnot I would have honestly never thought they would consider hitting on me or someone that is larger than them and that's kind of the intimidating part is that when you are a plus size woman in my in the case that I'm gonna give the example of is that you get a little intimidated by somebody that is super athletic they kind of look like a football jock or something because and it automatically makes you suspicious of their intentions which that shouldn't be the case you shouldn't have to feel threatened by somebody that you doubt would honestly be attracted to you and I, I'm honestly starting to let myself kind of open up more to people about that because it's I shouldn't have to feel intimidated by somebody trying that is legitimately attracted to me and they want to grab a coffee and hang out but back on the um, I'm gonna have links to these these stories that I was talking about for Japan below because one of them was I kind of I saw it initially through one of those news stories that kind of have like an animation with it that are, are meant to make fun of the story because it's just so outrageous but apparently this year in Japan there was a prostitution sting found in Japan and it was this um, middle-aged Japanese woman that was running this uh, sting operation of foreign plus size or, or fat um, adult entertainment uh, women there was I believe there was Around eight women, there was less than ten women uh, that were that were deemed prostitutes in this thing, and they actually even mentioned that the largest woman in this thing was three hundred pounds. And in less than oh, well, I'm gonna have the article below for you guys to look at, but it was an insane number. Like this woman was in business less than five years, I recall, and she made like eight million dollars off of these twelve, like off of these women, and it's just. Oh my! You and she honestly com uh, commented. The 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 madam said that there are a lot of Japanese when, women, uh, men that actually like fat women, but it's such a taboo thing, especially over there in Japan, that they cannot admit to it. So they come to if they want to be with a, a fat woman, they go there, and a lot of their and they said a lot of their customers would come back on a very frequent basis, and. It's just you would have never thought about it because they consider being fat just such a horrible thing. But in, in terms, it's just every everybody, there's fat admirers in every culture whether or not they even admit to it or not. And another story was actually this marriage counselor that had stated that 
um, fat is the new sexy, and I'm also going to post that article in the description box, how she talked about that Japanese men are becoming more attracted to fatter women just for some reason, and I'm, and my personal opinion is that they see so much skinny culture and so many women that are just of the average body type or what is considered the appropriate look in Japan and they just want something a little different is that they get bored of what they see every day so they see some a woman that is legitimately like heavier or different and they automatically get drawn to that so that's pretty much what I got for this video but if you guys have comments questions you guys want to talk about more of the stuff about in this video please leave comments please like please share I will really want to get this discussion board moving because I haven't had too many people talk to me about this. So, I love you guys. Mwah. Bye.